Hey everyone, in today's Zoom video, I wanna show you how to use breakout rooms inside of the Zoom app. Now this is an advanced feature, so by default, it is not turned on. You have to turn it on in the setting, and then it comes on the next time you use Zoom. So if you're in the middle of a meeting and you wanna do breakout rooms, you can't. You have to restart the meeting after you activate breakout rooms. Also, if you're new to Zoom, I have a full beginner's guide, and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video so you could get started with Zoom. For breakout rooms, you could do it with the paid plan or the free plan. It's available for both. So let me show you how to activate it, how to turn it on, and then how to initiate breakout rooms. The idea behind breakout rooms is when you have, for example, 20 people in a room, and you wanna have a couple of different breakout rooms with five people and then keep 10 people in the original room, you could do that. You could set up those meetings and you could assign different people into those rooms so they could carry on their own separate meeting in a breakout room and then join the big meeting when they're done. So let's jump on the computer and look at breakout rooms. On your Mac or PC, come to zoom.us and log into your account. Again, if you don't have one, go ahead and sign up for a free account so you could get the Zoom app and your account. The breakout rooms are gonna be activated on your account page, so you have to sign up first and then press my account over here. And that will bring you to your profile page and we're gonna to go to settings to turn on breakout rooms. Go there and it's under in meeting advanced option. Click that and it'll bring you to this option, breakout room. Allow hosts to split meeting participants into separate smaller rooms. You have to turn this on over here. So press that and it's been saved. You don't have to press save or anything. Now, if you open the Zoom app or you restart the Zoom app, it's gonna be an option in the Zoom app. There's another option also here, allow host to assign participant to breakout rooms when scheduling. This is part of the scheduling option that I'll show you in a second. So I'll turn that on too and I'll press save. Let me go back to the Zoom app here. So I'll press new meeting. I'll also show you how to do this when you schedule a meeting too. You could actually preset this. Let me jump and press that. And as you can see right over here, there's the breakout room option. By default, it is not there unless you turn it on. Let me have a few other people join the Zoom meeting so I could show you how the breakout rooms works and how you assign people to that breakout room. So let me just click to gallery view here. Now I got a couple other people here and I'm gonna assign them to breakout rooms. So let's go ahead and press breakout rooms over here. And we want to assign two participants into one group. You could also make this multiple groups if you have more participants. And then you wanna do this automatically. That will just assign them automatically or manually. You could pick who goes there. So I'll do manually and create breakout rooms. Now inside of that breakout room, I could go ahead and add rooms here. If I have a lot of participants, if I have 20 people, I could have multiple breakout rooms. And here, what I wanna do is assign rooms or I could rename the room. Right now, let me go ahead and assign a room and I could put Amy and Dan over here and say open all rooms. And just like that, they will get a notification to join that breakout room. So let me go ahead and press okay on their accounts. And just like that, they've been moved to this breakout room. So now if I close this and I come back, I'm by myself here on the main room. Everybody else got moved to the breakout room. I could press breakout room again, and I could see them here and join them on that breakout room. So I could leave the main session that you see behind me and join them in the breakout room. I could also broadcast messages. So if I wanted to tell them there's five minutes left of this breakout room, I could say five minutes and then broadcast that, and then they will get that as a broadcast on their Zoom app. And when I'm done, I could press close all rooms, and they will have 60 seconds to join me back on this main room. And then they'll appear here on the main room. Now, let me show you how to do this when you schedule a meeting. So back on your account on the website, go to the meetings tab here, and schedule a new meeting. So if I press this here, because I activated breakout room, I could go down over here, and I could see breakout room pre-assign. And if I press this over here, I could go ahead and create rooms and I could import my participants here with a CSV file. So if I create rooms here, I could go ahead and name the room here, add participants here by importing participants. I could add multiple rooms here by just pressing plus and assign multiple participants per group and then they will be pre-assigned and jump into the breakout room when we start this meeting. So that's how you do it before starting a meeting by scheduling it. Again, this does have to be turned on in the settings options that I showed you in the beginning of the video. I hope you found this video useful. I have other Zoom videos that are linked in the description below this video so you can really master Zoom and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.